Hi, my name is Esperanza Castillo. I talking. I will talk about the uh, what girls need to know about growing up, and uh, about the uh, mothers, how friends or mother, and tips for talking with our daughters. So I choose this uh, topic because I have two daughters. They um, don't 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 stay here, mm -hmm. but. I uh, check every day her Facebook and <laughs> the comments and her feelings and her uh, emotion shame every time. So in the morning is happy, in the afternoon is not happy. So for that uh, situation, I choose this. Okay. Yes. Uh, talking with your daughter about sensitive issues is something that many moms dread. But you don't need to have a formal sit down having the talk. About delicate subjects shouldn't happen in one fell suit. Should? Should? Mm -hmm. Anyway, follow this step to tell your daughter tell often with you about the issues she's dealing with. Start talking to your daughter early. Tal talking with your teenager's daughter about important topic should start years before she reaches adolescence. The most important thing is for parents to have lots of small talks, not one big talk. Start early with age appropriate discussions and advance as your child's maturity advances, especially between age 11 and 14. Be open when you talk with your daughters. Being open with your teenager's daughter will help her talk to you. If parents can be not just judgmental and open-minded, then kids will be more willing to approach them. When parents ask questions in a in a accusatory manner, the kids will put up walls. Open and question like. How do you feel about your friends these days? Instead of what happened at the party last night, allow more opportunity for discussion. Sharing your own experience can also help when talking to your daughter. Mothers can become a role model when they share just enough, but not too much. About their own teenagers, share with them personal things without telling them things that wouldn't be appropriate. Sex education is offered in many schools, but don't come on classroom into instructions alone. Sex education needs to happen at home too. Here's how talking to your team about sex. By Mayo Clinic staff, sex education basics may be covered in her class but your teen may not hear or understand. Everything he or she needs to know to make those choices about sex. That work to come in. Always in many be sex education is a parent's responsibility by reinforcing and supplementing that what your teen learns in school. You can set a stage for a lifetime of healthy sexuality. The first step is breaking the ice. Sex is a staple of news, entertainment, and advertising. It, it's often hard to avoid this ever present topic, but what parents and teens need to tell is not always sweet, so easy. If you wait to the perfect moment, you might miss the best opportunities. Instead, think of sex education as an ongoing conversation. Here are some ideas to help you get started and keep the discussion going. The discussion going. So uh, when I uh, try to talk with my daughters about that, they say, no, 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 mom, it, no, it's uh, that you thinking because you uh, often think bad things. So I say, no, it's okay. So. It's okay, tell me, no, no, no. And maybe it has a more uh, comfortable because I don't stay 
together with mm -hmm. her, with them. So, but um, they have some more um, comfortable for telling me about some situation, mm -hmm. but not all the situations. Mm -hmm. So, the other day her boyfriend told me and said me, uh, your daughter uh, needs um, to say more, I love you, every day, every time. Yeah, and she's feeling better. So it's the moment. When a TV program or music video raises issues about responsibly sexual behavior, use it as an, a springboard for discussion. Remember that every moment. Such a reading in the car or putting away groceries. Something offer the best opportunities to talk. Be honest. If you're uncomfortable, say so. But explain that it's important to keep talking. If you don't know how to answer your teen's question, offer to find the answer or look them up together. Be honest. Be direct, clearly state your feelings about specific issues, such as oral sex and intercourse. Present the risk objectively, including emotional pain, sexually transmit infection, and unplanned pregnancy. Explain that oral sex is a risk-free alternative to intercourse. Consider your team point of view. Don't lecture your team or really on scare tactics to discourage sexual activity. Instead, listen carefully. Understand your team's pressure, challenge, and concerns. Move beyond the facts. Your teams need accurate information about sex, but it's just as important to tell about feelings, attitudes, and values, examine questions or ethics, and responsibility in the context of your personal or religious beliefs. Invite more discussions. Let your team know that it's okay to talk with you about sex with He or she has questions.